Former Major League pitcher Turk Wendell made a stop in the Quad Cities this weekend to hold a free pitching clinic for aspiring athletes. Jay Kidwell caught up with the former Cub at the Genesis Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Clinic to talk about his career and giving back to local kids. Well, how about this? We have got former Cub relief pitcher Turk Wendell with us. Absolutely terrific that you're here at Genesis in Davenport. Tell us a little bit about coming out here, what you're doing with the kids, and, and why this is important to you. Well, it's important to give, give back to and, and teach kids what it takes to get to the big leagues, uh, both physically, mentally, and the work ethic that you have to have, not just to get there, but to stay there and, and maintain that level of play and consistency for, you know, I was fortunate enough to play for 12 years in the major leagues. And uh, not one day did I take that for granted. I thought it was a, just an unbelievable honor to be able to put a major league uniform on every day. Give us an idea about the dedication, the years, the work, the practices, uh, the ups and the downs, but eventually it got you to the major leagues. Yeah, you have to um, not embrace, but you have to learn to deal with failure. Baseball is a game of failure. I mean, how many guys can say they fail 70 out of 100 times and be household names and gazillionaires nowadays especially. Uh, there's a doctor that said, yeah, I saved 30 out of 100 lives yesterday or last year that are still doctors. <laughs> They're done. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of nice to say I play a kid's game and get paid for it and um, just live a dream. What, what is that like, though, to reach that pinnacle, uh, regardless of your profession, to get to the point to where you have gotten to the ultimate spot, Major League Baseball? Uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. I mean, to play a kid's game and, and achieve a lifelong goal. And a lot of people don't understand this, but in the history of baseball, there's been less than 20,000 players put on a Major League uniform. I mean, that number in itself, you're going, what? Wait a second. And if you look up any player, it'll tell you they're like, I, I don't know, I think I was the 13,000th, like 371st player to ever put in the big league uniform on. And you just think, I was asking some of these guys, even the parents, this question earlier today. And one guy goes, I don't know, like 2 million? <laughs> you hear it's less than 20,000. I mean, you step back and go, wow, that's pretty amazing. And to say that I did it is it's mind-boggling. I feel like it's a lifetime ago, like it wasn't even me. <laughs> well, not only were you a major league player, you were a pitcher, and right there uh, front and center, what's the mentality like to go out there and it's all in your hand? Uh, the, the play doesn't start until you release it and everything uh, feeds on what you've delivered. Well, and that's pretty ironic that you say that because I try to teach kids that, look, relax, nothing happens until you throw the ball. and. It's good when you're doing well, <laughs> but when you're not doing well, that's a lonely little island out there. <laughs> so, it, it, but like I said too, the whole failure thing, you're going to fail a lot. Every guy in the big leagues has an ERA. Every guy in the big leagues has struggled at times, and it's just learning how to deal with the failure, the adversities of failing. And I, I, I coach a lot. Uh, high school, I tell kids all the time, look, you're never as good as you think you are, but you're never as bad as you think you are either. So. That being said, don't forget all the hard work and everything you've done to get you to this level where you're at right now. Tell us a little bit about the routines that you had, whether it's waving to the center field folks or the crouching or brushing your teeth, uh, how those came about and, uh, and how that re relaxed you, I would guess? Yeah, well, it, it puts you in a comfort zone. And, and that's really, as a pitcher and any all the players, they want you want to get into a comfort zone is feel as comfortable as possible because you're going to perform as a higher at a higher level um, but we are creatures of habits humans and when we do something and it works we keep doing it and as odd as it was i had a bad taste in my mouth brushed my teeth between innings in the minor leagues and struck out the side so i thought wow i'm gonna have to do that again 